Okay, so this poem is called True Blood. It's really sensitive, um, but I feel like it's a lot of stuff that needs to be said. It's not about anything in particular, but I roped in a lot of things to make this a poem. I have small wrists and a big mouth for an average size body. It was her slit, part of her skit, that left the bathroom iron blue skies and bloody. Ask me why she chose a knife, I'll tell you why she didn't use a razor blade. State the fact that her stains will fade, I'll scream that she had every right to feel intoxicated. As the whole world hated her hair and her eyes. Because everyone she's ever got, she's ever known, got lost in them. And black holes are known to behold no answers, she offered no answers. But only because you never asked her the questions. You only asked me. I have long toes and an average sized nose for a body that is in the 95th percentile. And I'm willing to bet that her numbers were even more worthwhile. But while you measured her worth and dumped her in the dirt, her own senses stirred and she started to become hurt. No more happy picnic days. Our summer leaf sun rays, life turned bleak, it flipped black. And during her darkest hour, she didn't want to come back. She didn't desire to fulfill your unanswered questions and she tried her hardest to stay out of your mentions. But time and time again, she was added to too many lists. And that is why she slowly started to flip. Down light switches, up flashlights, left doors, cold nights, no more blankets over toes. If the underbed monster took her, who would know? It didn't matter, because she didn't feel like anyone would care anyways. Which brings us to now, this scene that you cannot unsee, the social media related catastrophe. 13 reasons is too harsh. No, it just turn, you just turn your cheek whenever a teen was drowning in the marsh. It's not straight water. And it's not solid ground you see, it's a mixture of earth, wind, and fire, all threatening one's destiny. You could have saved a life. Or two. Or four. You could have stopped this girl from bleeding out upon the floor. Ask me one more time why she did it. Beg of answers that you all will soon dismiss. I'll tell you something because she wanted to feel something in this holy lonesome of an abyss. Paint the skyline with the daisies she used to dabble upon her floor at one o'clock in the morning until it was 3.34. Let the rivers run rapidly and carve cutlery into smooth stone. Take away her accessory to murder, but that would make her feel alone. It was in that moment that knife touched knee, skimmed forearm landed on wrist, that she knew something had to be slit. All part of her skit and entrance into a world of pain where she could exit her old world and have nothing ever be the same. A grand agenda for someone who was so simple, who stuck to napkin notes and light conversation. I pray for her now that she lives in a world completely surrounded by all forms of alleviation.